Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well, thank you for joining me again. You know, it's an interesting time in our history, isn't it? If you look back a few hundred years to Parliament as it was, it was made up of community leaders, business people, people that have earned their stripes and who were there to represent us and our interests in that place. Party politics didn't really come into it, it was for the good of the people, honest, wholesome laws. You roll forward to present times, modern times, and we've got Conservatives, Labour, Lib Dems and all the rest and all the infighting that goes with it. Well, it's not gone very well, has it? We've reached a point in our history where it's all falling to pieces. The Conservatives seem to be the victims of this rout and they stand to be completely annihilated at the forthcoming general election. I think one of the projections I saw was that they will only win 60 seats, a complete wipeout. The election's over before it's begun, we're going to get a Labour government. That's purely because of the way people believe and the way the system works in this country. It's a foregone conclusion and I for one am filled with dread at that prospect. Going back to the old ways, you know, there, there is a method by which we can fix it. There is a method by which we can hit our own reset button. But for now, we're left with what we've got to work with, and that's the party political system. So the question is, who will be the opposition? Will it be a coalition of the masses? Or will it be a reform party who does very, very well at the polls? Now, I've said before, reform must mean exactly that. There can't be any influx or any step-ins from any leftovers of establishment parties who are trying to keep their job. It must be fresh-faced, it must be new, and it must be a reform. Nigel Farage did an hour-long interview on LBC the other day and he was asked various questions by Nick Ferrari. One of which was, would he be willing to lead a coalition of sorts of, you know, right-leaning individuals within Westminster, meaning a reform party and conservatives? And he said, yeah, you're damn right I would, or words to that effect. Well, I don't believe he should. You see, if there's a complete rout of the Conservatives, including the likes of Jacob rees Morgan, David Cameron and other, others, then that should be it. That should be the end of their story. There shouldn't be any hand, there shouldn't be any deal, there shouldn't be any amalgamation. They should be gone, consigned to history. And then what you should have is a very powerful opposition reform side there who will hold a Labour government to account. And then in five years time, we'll look at the situation, unless anything breaks sooner, have a general election and see what happens then. And either reform or something like it will stand a good chance of stepping into the breach. We have to think again, we have to think back to the original Bill of Rights, the original Constitution, the English Constitution, not all this British stuff that we've all been indoctrinated with, and make a decision on where we go from there. But Nigel Farage holding out a hand to the Conservatives if he gets in to Westminster in opposition. No. They should be exactly where they are. The dustbin. And they've earned their place. Hopefully, Labour will follow shortly thereafter. We might be on to something. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, if you're on social media, don't mind a share of my stuff. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.